Welcome back to EDU Nine. Last season, we looked at new features in Google Classroom that improved the feedback process, like a comment bank and screen toggling to save time. Our team has been hard at work to continue strengthening the grading process within Classroom. And on this episode, we'll look at the new gradebook in Classroom, which better enables teachers to keep their assignments and grades in one place and keeps this important element of instruction more organized. Let's take a closer look. User feedback is at the core of each new feature we roll out in Google Classroom, and this is no different. Based on your suggestions, we are making grading easier for instructors with a dedicated gradebook in Google Classroom. Teachers can now view and input grades across classwork and students, set up grade categories and settings, and more. That's right. With the new grades page, teachers can view all grades for a class, easily enter grades, and track averages. They can also add categories for assignments and choose how to grade or weight them by percentage. This saves time by allowing teachers to assign point values to assignment types they'll be entering most often, like homework or weekly quizzes. And to make the grading process more streamlined, instructors are also able to return assignments to students or review submissions with one click in the gradebook. From there, students can track their assignments and averages, viewing their overall grade based on their current work in a given class. With the new gradebook for Google Classroom, teachers can track students' progress in one place, view trends across classes, and help students stay organized. The gradebook gives teachers and students a holistic snapshot of student work and gives them the ability to share progress and grades with parents and guardians. Well, that's all for this episode. Check out the links below for more information on this new feature. And in the comments, let us know what classroom features you'd like to see next. We'll see you next time. Looking for some ideas and inspiration for math class? Check out our last episode, where we highlight the creative ways educators like you are using Google Keep with math.